All right, got myself some food, some torches, and some enchanted tools, and I think I'm ready to go. Hey guys, I'm gonna casually dodge all of your attacks while killing your spawners and you. Good. So where are you, Gast? There you are. I don't have any arrows. Dang it. Okay. Well, I did manage to do a little bit of enchanting when I was back at the base, and I got myself beautiful sharpness one iron sword. It's not much, but it's mine. And I got myself a efficiency one iron pick. And some baked potatoes. Something back here on the sides. Okay, yeah, this is dangerous. I'm getting out of here. What is with all the ghasts being crazy? Ghasts be crazy. Ghasts be like... <laughs> That's what they be like. I don't have any more arrows because I'm not killing any more skeletons. But I'm feeling pretty good about this. We're doing well so far. Let me start regenerating health. I've got plenty more baked potatoes back in the ender chest, so I won't need to go back to the base for that reason for a while. Also, yes, ghasts apparently can destroy quartz. <laughs> this just in. Cleared out a new layer. Let's get rid of these. Whatever they may be. Oh, the silverfish. Oh, hello. Oh, dang. Okay, that was bad. I got stuck in a hole and I couldn't escape. Are oh, there two of them? There are two? That is just rude. Let me kill these guys and then die. Like that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna run in. We're gonna kill these guys, hopefully. Crusher of Sin. Yeah, okay, that doesn't make any sense. Either you cause Sin or you crush it. What are you doing? Are you causing it? Killing it? Oh, there we go. Well, I got one of them. Why are things terrible? Cool, got rid of him. Got my smite sword back. Got a potato. Got another sword back. And is any of my stuff still here? Are you serious? It's all gone? All of it? No, it's not. It's just on the next floor. Okay. I got really scared there for a second. We've got the things that we need in order to be good at things and stuff. That was painful. Whew! Okay, let's get out of here, and not go back until we have some stuff in order. Right. We are going to wall ourselves up with the stairs, because why not? Should we do it? YOLO! We got speed and jump boost, we're a little bit more agile now. Agile? Agile? I don't know how you correctly pronounce it. I'm not good at pronunciationing. Oh, game just stopped for a second. Okay, maybe that stuff was destroyed, but you know what? Let's just... Run around to the back. Okay. Strad. Cool. Out of here. Nice. Haha. <laughs> back to Monument. Excellent. That went well. Ish. We did it, and we got the record, and we made it to intersection 4, getting ourselves a little checkpoint, so to speak, and we never have to enter that area ever again. Awesome. Let's put our little bridge back, and we can place this right on the monument. I'm out of cobblestone. Alright, I'll just jump out, swim over there, and get some more. But for now, I'd say I, I would call that a success. Overall, we got the two main things from that area, which were, of course, the enchantment table and the record, and we made it to intersection four, so I would call this a complete and utter success. I am making a note here, right here, right there on that stair. Huge, huge success. That's the word I would use to uh, describe it. All right, so we have Strad. Let's put that in. We are going to take a look at the formidable intersection four. I don't actually need to light any of this up, but it makes me uncomfortable if I don't. Let's take a look. Alright, Sodden Scaffolds, Arctic Maelstrom, and there we go, Falls of Yin. Alright, so, final area is going to be the Falls of Goodness, for some reason. That's nice. Alright, so, Arctic Maelstrom, that's the second one. Falls of Yin, that's the final area, and Sodden Scaffolds. I suppose that's where we're going next. I kind of want to put torches up on here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's where we're going next. Intersection 4. This is the end game, guys. 
Let's take a look. Whew. All right, so we've got some mossy cobblestone pathways. Oh, you know what? There was a screenshot of this on the uh, map's thread. This one seemed to stretch on for a while. I can hear zombies. Yep, there are the zombies. Okay. They're on the roofs, the spawners. That actually makes this pretty difficult because I'm going to have to do a little hops between the roofs of these places. Oh, there's a witch. Of course there's a witch. A witch. A witch. She must have a lot of money. She's a witch. Yeah, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't watch it. Oh, okay, okay. Not fun. Not fun. Not having a good time. Not having a good time. We're going to back away while hitting the spiders in the face. Faces, I guess. And up the wall with us. Whew. <laughs> Alright, so what's the best method for going about this? I guess just pillaring up to the roof. We've got blocks. So that shouldn't be a problem. Come on, walk off the edge. Nope. So I'm just gonna... Skiddly bop. And... Oh, there's one. Jump over the next. And there's another. Okay. That's the first platform. This place looks like it goes on for quite a while. Meaning that we're going to have a lot of work to do in order to completely fortify it. There's where the witches are coming from. I do not like witches. Venom Jockey? What? what the? That's a skeleton riding a cave No. A zombie riding a cave spider. And the zombie's got a scary sword. Alright, we're going to step back. Venom Jockey, really? You had to integrate cave spiders one more time? I mean, hopefully this is the last time. Hopefully. But okay. Um, let's just wait until this poison wears off. There we go. And we will regenerate some health. So there are Venom Jockeys. They're kind of scary, but at least with this sharpness sword I can take out cave spiders on the bottom in a couple hits at most. There we go. That's gone. Anything on the roof? A fiddler, maybe? No? Ooh, sharpness one and breaking. Alright, it's reliable. Instant health and regen potion of greater salvation. Not the greatest salvation, but, you know, it's greater. And we continue onwards. That's a nice piece of loot, though. I don't even approve of that. This potion stack. Really? Ghasts? Don't you think we had enough of those in the ending of the last area? Okay. And we are in the drink. Taking a quick dip. Hi, witch. Hmm. Where's the best way out of here? I like how the gas fireballs don't actually get extinguished when they go in the water. They just stay on fire. I mean, I guess I could just go back to the beginning every time, but I do not want to do that. Ah, pfft. what was that? Was that slowness? I think that was slowness, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Witches are annoying. And I will do my best not to fall off. What I need is like a couple boats, maybe? So I can sail back to the beginning instead of having to swim back? Or I could just make myself a little path up. Like that, maybe? Yes, and if I do these little twisty jumps, the uh, mobs will not be able to emulate that. Ow. Let's get up a little bit. Get up and get down. <sighs> Stupid poison. Why do you always have to ruin everything? Everything ever. Forever. Oh god. Okay, they can do the twisty jump. And I died. Great. Also, I made a fancy bridge here. So that's nice. Stupid witch. <sighs> they gotta make an enchantment that's effective on witches. I mean, you got, sure, you got Smite for zombies and skeletons. And you got Bane of Arthropods for those other stuff. But you don't have anything for witches. Nothing for creepers either. Maybe they could make one enchantment that kind of encompasses both of those areas. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. Let's grab some of the stuff that didn't fall into the water. Hope we can get the rest. 
gas to come stop it with the fireballs. It's getting annoying. Gotta say. Okay. Yeah, let's go for a dive then. Got some stuff to find. Whoosh. Place torches down for brief kind of flashes of seeing, of sight. I should bring like a sign or something next time. <laughs> or a door. That would be good. Ah, yes, there are those potions, those good ones. Nice. <laughs> I like that trick, where you can place the torch down on the wall and it'll let you breathe for a little bit longer, somehow. Because fire creates oxygen, yep, that's how it works. Definitely. All the time. Oh, I'm gonna start taking damage here. That's okay. Where could the rest of my stuff be? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe it doesn't have to be around here. Maybe it's not around here anywhere. Maybe it's gone. It disappeared forever. Into the endless void of non-existence. That's deep, man. Oh, got me the poison potion. I hate you so much. Okay, I'm gonna die, actually. Let's move back before I am terminated. Oh, God. Where did you all come from? Seriously, where did all these zombies come from? They just kind of appeared. What am I stuck waiting for? Oh god, I almost drowned there. <laughs> Let's just stick out. Uh, down, Hang out down here for a little bit. Alright, now that I'm not poisoned anymore, pop back up. Jeez, there are so many of you. Just leave. Got me with another poison. Are you serious? Ah, uh, 30 seconds. What is... Is there another witch up there? Are you serious? That is just unfair. I'm fighting witches in water. It's not like even close to a fair fight. <clears throat> this is beginning to get really frustrating. Because as soon as you die, you can't get your stuff back in the water without everything swarming you. And that is a big problem. <sighs> Let's go back to the sodden scaffolds. Back underwater. Grab my stuff. Don't die this time. Sploosh. 